vlog. What was it about? Well, I did this video with Guy who he has played Louis Real for 30 years. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, and he's doing his last four performances to at the time. At the time. So it's pretty exciting. And we have our latest vlog on that. Welcome to the set of Trial of Louis Riel. I'm here with Guy today. For those that have not seen it, how big was the real trial? Well, the, 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 uh, the real trial was set in 1885, and I think, and don't quote me on this, but I think it was about three weeks. How big was, I mean, what year did the real trial take place? Well, the, 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 what's called now the resistance was in, uh, in the spring and of 1885. Riel was, was captured in May of 1885 and the trial started in July of how, 1885. How long have you been involved? I've been with the theater company <coughs> Rielco uh, for 35 years and have played Riel for 32 years this year. Which roles have you played? Well, uh, over the years, uh, other than Riel, I've played Father Alexis André. He's a witness for the, uh, for the defense. I've played Charles Nolin, who's a witness or the lead witness uh, for the Crown. And uh, François-Xavier Lemieux, he's the, one of the lawyers for uh, the defense, for uh, Riel. What is your favorite role? Well, my favorite role is the one I've been having to do every year for the last 32 Julys. <laughs> um, uh, the 32 years, the, the one is Louis Riel. I really love doing it. Um, I try to find something new to do every year, even though some people say, how the heck do you do that? It's uh, trying to be creative every year and try to find some way. Sometimes I, I talk more to the jury less to the audience, sometimes it's the other way around, sometimes I just divide half and half, yeah, depends on how I feel. What is your favorite role that you haven't played yet? Well, one of the roles I'd love to play, and or I would have loved to play, is B.B. Osler. He's the lead crown uh, lawyer, and because I've never, other than, than Charles Nolin, I've never sat on the, on the side of the crown. Uh, so that would have been fun to do because he's a snarky guy and I love playing snarky guys. Were you fascinated by Louis Real before portraying him? Well, I, I came to Saskatchewan in 1981 and I started the play in 82 so I didn't have time to learn too much about who Riel was. I knew who he was. I knew he was a leader of the Métis and he uh, was hung in 1885. Uh, I knew all that but more than that I learned as I was going on in the play over the last 35 years. What are some of your favorite memories of the trial of Louis Riel? Some of my favorite moments I think the moment for me is when we did the show in Batoche. Uh, that's where Riel was captured that's where most of the battle to end the, the resistance happened. Uh, and for me, it was important because we played in front of some of the descendants of the people who were at the Battle of Batoche. And there's a part in the speech where he talks about this land, this is our land, this is our ground, and this is, this is where it was. And I just talking about it, and I still have goosebumps. Uh, I was doing it where it happened. And I thought that was kind of cool. Any funny moments people in the audience never realized? Well, one night, one of the actors decided to do some switcheroos on the names of one of the characters. So rather than, than name the, the character in the script, he decided to say that he had seen Chuck, who was playing uh, one of the lawyers. And the other night he would play, he would say, oh, I saw Peter. 
And that was another of the actors. Until the director told him in no uncertain terms, stop doing that and stick with the script. Uh, this play involves the crowd. Mm -hmm. Has there been anything unexpected happened because of this? Unexpected stuff, huh? Well, one night, and that's before I came on, uh, the, the, the jury is always taking, is chosen from people, from men, because back then there was no women in the, in the, uh, in the jury, on juries in 1885. So it's usually men from the audience that are chosen to, do, to play the, the role of, of, of jurors. And that night, some of the jurors had partaken in some juices that she, they shouldn't have had. So they were a little mixed up, let's put it that way. So they decided to pull a prank and decided that Riel was not guilty of the crime of high treason. Well, the director at the time stopped the show, marched down to the jury, marched them backstage, gave them heck, and then they came back and voted, and voted them, uh, uh, changed the, the verdict to the real verdict, which was guilty. When is your last performance? My last performance will be October 14th at the 50th anniversary uh, production. That will be the last time I will sit in this box and tell people that I'm not insane. Anything you would like to tell me? Well, I hope that people will see this vlog and your friends and uh, all the people on Facebook will come and see the show for the last uh, three shows at the museum and maybe come see us at, uh, at the Roundtree Hotel in October. Remind me again, which museum is this? This is the Saskatchewan, the Royal Saskatchewan Museum. Thanks for talking to us, me today, Guy. You're very welcome, Tom.